554, which is a 2017 Pierce Ascendant 107 foot area. Um, inside the cab here, we've got state of the art technology and safety, including rollover protection and um, all new safety features available on, on new fire apparatus. Back here we have uh, set up for four uh, four positions for the jump seats. We all have uh, SCBAs. Uh, we also have all the tools back there that are uh, necessary, radios, and we have an EMS compartment on the other side that carries some uh, equipment. So uh, you can see we've already got our gear set up on there, ready to go. This compartment right here. Uh, we'll keep our, our soft suction 5 inch that the engineer uses to connect to the hydrant. Um, very well laid out pump panel. Uh, the pump is a 2,000 gallon per minute uh, pump, waterous pump. Back here we've got uh, all of our compartment doors are roller doors. And here we have some miscellaneous uh, apparatus operator equipment. We've got uh, Nice built-in toolbox. It includes all of the uh, adapters and appliances that we need. It works out really great to not have them rolling around and kind of all over the place. Um, this is our RIT kit. Some miscellaneous tools. This is a, an area where we keep some of our ropes, and we've got some space to put some more uh, more tools as we need here. Uh, we just put this truck online this morning, so. Uh, it still hasn't made its first run, so we're pretty excited about that. This compartment contains our, um, our first rescue tools, which are all battery powered. Um, it's a really great technology. Comes out, uh, comes in very handy uh, to not have to use the hoses and the hydraulic pumps and so forth. And it looks like you have a, a full set of uh, cutters and uh, spreaders here, but you also have a combi tool right there. We have a combi tool. We've got some RAM, a uh, set of RAM uh, there. We've got extra batteries. Uh, one battery will generally last um, plenty of, it'll give us plenty of power to, to cut uh, one or two cars, but we do carry some spare batteries. It also has an adapter that we can hook it to uh, 120 volt AC as well, if we get it on extended. We've got a, a rear intake for the aerial in the back. Uh, and here we've got uh, our step chocks, some of our mitigation equipment, which we use for car wrecks, uh, cleaning up oil spills and so forth. We've got uh, in here. We've got some ladders on that side. We've got ladder on this side. It's a 35 foot uh, extension ladder with uh, some pike poles. Everything's nicely labeled. Um, We've got uh, our foam pack. We carry our cooler so our guys can uh, make sure they stay hydrated. We've got a vent fan. Uh, this is a cordless uh, leaf blower, actually. We use it a lot of times on car wrecks for uh, glass and so forth that's in the road. Works out very well. It's a lot faster. We can get the highways open back up faster. Um, this is kind of a neat compartment the way it's laid out. We've got a tool bag here with some things in it. Um, this. This uh, swing out tool board is very, very handy. You see we can keep a lot of extra equipment in there that you wouldn't normally be able to do if you just kind of stacked it in there. So we've still even got more room to put things there. Um, got all the iron, everything we need, axe and so forth. In this compartment, we have all of our power tools. Uh, so we've got a, a K-12 type saw. Got a vent saw, regular chainsaw, got a full complement of, of uh, hand tools, sawzall, things like that. We've got a, a, a battery powered floodlight that's, that's very bright. We use that on a scene. Got some other scene lights there. Um, and all this, we've got a grinder, sawzall, as I said, kind of a full complement of uh, tools there uh, for whatever we may need. Of course, it's got some hand lines. Um, we were able to get a couple of fire extinguishers in there. And this is the other side of the jump seat that we talked about. And 
and this is of course the officer seat. We've got a uh, new computer system in there that allows us to communicate with uh, Metro Safe and, and get all of our information electronically, uh, mapping and pre-planning and so forth. Um, all the technology is up here, and this, of course this is where the officer rides and uh, on the way to the fire. The neat thing about uh, the neat thing about this Enforcer chassis is that it, it's a full one-piece windshield, so you don't have a, you don't have the, the post that you would have normally there, and that's something that you don't really realize until you're up in the truck and you're looking out. You have a completely unobstructed view of the uh, of the roadway, and so you've got two free connect uh, bumper line or hose lines on the bumper. Um, of course, every fire truck has to have a, a queue. Um, and we've also got a backup electric siren as well. Um, and I guess the other thing that I would say about this, this truck and the layout is that the way we've um, changed our color scheme a little bit, we McMahon's always had white trucks. As you can see, uh, some of our other trucks are completely white. We wanted to make it a little bit different, and we wanted to have uh, a little bit yet maintain that traditional element so you'll see mostly white we, we did make the top of the cab red um, but little things like this such as the gold leaf pattern and with this layout this is exactly how our fire trucks were back in 1950s when we when we started as a fire department so that combined with uh, up on the, the aerial panel you'll see up there I don't know if you can see it from there but you'll see our old we've got our new logo and we've got our old logo, which was from night, from when we first started, and uh, we've got a lot of neat traditional elements, yet uh, all the new safety features. So uh, we're very excited to put the point fifty five fifty four into service, and um, we hope to get many years of use of it and, and keep our guys safe.